Blair that I need to read this decree of the merging the parishes. It's in canon law language, but well, a few comments afterwards. Decree, this decree concerns the merger of St. Francis of Assisi Parish, South Windsor, Connecticut, with St. Margaret Mary Parish, also in South Windsor, Connecticut, within the Manchester Deanery. Whereas, St. Francis of Assisi Parish was established in 1941, and St. Margaret Mary Parish was established in 1961, from the division of St. Francis of Assisi, and the two parishes went on to be linked in 2016 out of necessity to share pastoral and material resources as the reason why St. Francis was divided and the second parish established in South Windsor no longer exists. Whereas the linking of the parishes has also met with success in having a shared pastor, staff, religious education program and office, as well as other resources following discussion amongst the two parish communities, the pastor and the respective trustees, recommended that St. Francis of Assisi and St. Margaret Mary parishes be merged to create a new parish. Whereas the intention or will of donors, any restrictions on assets, including land, as well as any acquired rights have been examined and taken into consideration, the Presbyteral Council was consulted on February 27, 2017, and in accord with Canon 515, Section 2 of the Code of Canon Law in relation to the modification of parishes and pose no objection, whereas having judged that sufficient just causes are present and that the good of souls will de not thereby be impaired, I hereby decree as Archbishop of Hartford the merger following from Canon 121 and 515, Section 2 of the Code of Canon Law of St. Francis of Assisi and St. Margaret Mary Parishes as separate juridic legal personalities of St. Francis of Assisi and St. Margaret Mary Parishes will cease to exist and they will no longer be subject of obligations and rights under canon law, a new parish is now established, with both church buildings of the former parishes will remain as sacred places for divine worship. The name of the new parish will be determined at a later date. The assets and liabilities of the former parishes will become the assets and liabilities of the new parish. The administration of the church buildings and premises will be based at the new parish in South Windsor, Connecticut, the sacramental registers, along with any other parish records and historical documents, shall be preserved at the new parish according to the norm of Canon 535. The territorial boundaries of the new parish will henceforth be the combined boundaries of the former St. Francis of Assisi and St. Margaret Mary parishes. This decree becomes effective as of March 31st, 2017, prior to which the substance of it is to be communicated to the faithful by means of notice in the weekend bulletins of both parishes, as well as by publication of the Archdiocese and website, the Catholic Transcript. Canonical recourse may be made within the peremptory time limit of 10 business days for the legitimate notification of the decree and in accordance with the norm of the law. All things to the contrary notwithstanding, giving at the ch given at the Chancery on the second day of March, 2017, in the year of our Lord, signed Reverend Leonard Paul Blair, Archbishop of Hartford, and notarized by Reverend Ryan M. Lerner, Chancellor. Uh, so the translation is for us, we've already existed as if we're merged, but only linked now it's officially merged. We just await the name of the parish for the wider archdiocese following a very nice Easter. There'll be the announcement of a number of closings of parishes. We acted uh, on our own and thereby preserved what we have. The parishes that did not act well, don't go to mass there that weekend because the news will be, as has already been covered, St. Michael's and Hartford closed. Uh, a number of other parishes will be closing, possibly as many as 80 out of 213 parishes. Your cooperation and uh, your wonderful enthusiasm for coming together as uh, one community of faith has been marvelous. As of the reading of this decree, I'm no longer your pastor, I'm your administrator. After June, I'll be named, hopefully, as pastor of the new parish, St. Elsewhere, is whatever it's going to be called. Um, and so the other day, I, I went uh, and did some politicking at the cathedral to see the person in charge of that. Told him how young he was looking, what a great guy he was, and he was swell. You want these tickets to the UConn game? Things like that. That helps. So uh, right now, I think because we did the process and we're ahead of the curve, uh, we're good for at least five to eight years. Uh, the number of priests is dwindling quickly, but more importantly, the number of practicing Catholics is dwindling as well. 
Um, so well, I would encourage you again and again to make sure that if you're coming to church by yourself, invite a neighbor. If you have uh, family in the area, invite your whole family. You're always welcome here. As we move ahead, we have exciting things for the whole parish uh, to do together and grow.